G'day, g'day, welcome to yet another huge episode of True Footy's AFL Evolution Career with the West Coast Eagles. I'm travelling today to the dreaded GMHBA Stadium to take on the highly fancy Geelong Cats, who sit sixth on the ladder, but of course are such a good team at home, and it's so tough for travelling sides to win here. In fact, the Eagles have only won one game here in 21 years since 1999. We won a game there in 06 coming from behind by nine goals. And since then, it's all been pretty sorry affairs every time we travel to this ground. So hopefully, we can buck that trend tonight. We're boosted by the return of Brad Shepard and Andrew Gaff to the side. Unfortunately, Tom Cole makes way. Unfortunately, not everyone can be bloody Brad Shepard. So fucking there you go. And uh, Xavier O'Neill on the wing makes way for Andrew Gaff. Um, an obvious choice there, although he's played pretty well for his three games so far this season. The Eagles obviously now in top spot. I think we're one game clear of the Adelaide Crows in second. Matthew Nix working miracles over there at the Crows, who were tipped to be a chance for bottom four in 2020, are sitting in second spot. Funny how that does happen occasionally to interstates clubs. I'm thinking my own club in 2018 were tipped to drop down the ladder. I'm pumped for this one, boys and girls. We've had a topsy-turvy sort of last couple of months in the season. We had three losses in a row by four or five points. Then we had a massive win against Richmond. Then, you know, pumped north as we were kind of expected to. And today we've got probably our single toughest fixture of the season. Let's see how we go, guys. Can't Eagles. Dangerfield collects the kick. And there you go, straight off the bat, Josh Jenkins with one of his first goals for Geelong, probably not, if this is like round 14 or 15 or something, gets the, crow, uh, gets the Cats off the board. Well, Ryan's got a chance here. Oh, he's been pushed in the back. This is an opportunity for the Eagles to level the scores. There's not a hint of breeze. Going for goal number oh, and I think Kick that is good. Goal. He's put it through. The Eagles level pegging. Thrashes it. Fails to fend off the tackler. A great defensive effort. Wants to take them on. Gets it away. Oh, Tim, Tim Kelly was nearly humiliated in front of his old home crowd. With uh, the Eagles nearly messed that up, but Tim Kelly should get on the board. And let's line. hear the boos. They're probably not going to be in-game boos. But steady hands there as he holds that one. Kick by Stewart. An easy grab for Ablett. Manufactures the handball. Hawkins links for the two. Oh, he's gotten the boot to ball very quickly there, Tom Hawkins. And we're back to all square. Turns a free kick. Moves the ball by foot. Hawkins wins it back. How has he done that? He kicked it through an Eagles player. Geelong have three now. Gary Rowan's taking a good mark over Rotham. Oh no, Dom Sheed has kicked backwards into traffic. Oh, betrayed by the bounce. That is going to cost us a goal. Jared Brander. Has completely run under the bounce of that ball. Now, Lockie Fogarty has made him pay. An accurate Geelong side lead by 12 points. Oh, Cripps doesn't fly. Jack Henry takes the uncontested mark. Oh, and it's going to hurt him here. Oh. Did someone run over the mark? I actually didn't even see anything come up. Maybe I'm blind. Maybe it went too quickly. Someone's run over the mark. Geelong gifted a goal. So it actually makes that look tougher than it should have. Oh, that is a good pass. It's not paid the mark to Kennedy. The ball spilled free. Oh, Elliot Yo, yes. Tried to dribble it, and it hasn't paid off. He's kicked it into a defender. Oh, that's a good spot up by Gaff. Darling takes the mark. The Eagles kind of need this one. Oh, 
Darling slams it towards goal. He's put it and through. It through the the Eagles remain within swiping distance. Wins the race to the ball. Oh, Kennedy's just outworked him. Is he going to try and spot up a pass here? I think he, oh, he could, but he won't. He won't. Going to have to get this pretty perfect. He's done well. It will be on the edge of his range. I reckon he's nailed it. He has. We're back down to seven points, people. Oh, he snapped it. Put it away. That was a great goal from Gary Rowan. 13 points to the margin. Oh no, as soon as they shrug one, it's game over, and that is a goal to Harry Taylor. Uh oh. That is a bit of Gary Ablick magic to ruin your afternoon. Oh, another, ha another tackle. Slips high. Geelong have a yet another shot on goal. Should make no mistake, and it is straight through the middle. 28 points. The Eagles are losing control of this game. Oh, the Eagles get a little reprieve here. Reece Stanley has belted that out of bounds on the full. Tim Kelly has one goal against his old side here. Can he make it two? That's pretty good. He's got two. He keeps his... Oh, he's missed. I swear to God, that went through the middle. Oh, it's a little anticlimax. Would have been a great way to get your second goal against your old club. Oh, no. And uncontested cats are going to run into a goal. There's no point in me trying to run after that. That was a bad turnover from Gaff. I felt like I had enough power behind it, but he just intercepted it. And then, for whatever reason... There were no eagles on those two Geelong cats Back in the pocket. Collected by Ryan. Oh, JK's got a chance here to give the eagles some life. He might have put it through. He has. Straight into the die. His return to form has come at a good time in the season. Pushing the back. The eagles getting a little bit of luck here. Oh, that is poor marking by the Cats. They've given Nat Nui a free uncontested mark inside the 50. That should go straight through. The Eagles still in this game. Oh, Fogarty is marked over Shannon Hearn. Not gonna lie, Hearn's having a dog of a season so far. I felt like every time I've done a mistake to give away a goal, Shannon Hearn's there just with his hands on his hips, getting out marked by a skinny, short teenager. That is half time as well by the looks. Nine more inside 50s tells the tale. Almost double, well, literally double it, I suppose. Oh, just under half of the disposals we've got. 38% possession. We're winning the hitouts. More tackles, which shows our work rates up. 23 handballs to four. That is incredible. Overall, just getting dominated. The most disposals, 12 for us at six. Tom Hawkins has two goals. Kennedy has two goals. 26 behind points behind uh, on the scoreboard is actually not a bad effort if you're looking at those stats. Oh yes, Oscar Rallin with the interception. The Eagles are pressing. They get reward for that little momentum bump there. It was a good play, sort of. It was scrappy. Good grab by Redden. You see it. Oh. No, nah, he's going to go the Tory. Don't think he's clocked that one. Yes, Kennedy takes the grab. He's having a great game, to be honest. He's going to cut the margin of 14 points. Oh, my goodness. The gla game is glitched. Someone has kicked in the wrong direction, but I'm, you know what? I'm not going to take it. 
Just like that, the Eagles are eight points behind in a game they probably don't deserve to be. Minigolic struggling to run at the moment. Tui takes a strong mark. Gets a hand in. He's really Oh, no way. The smother has paid off again. This would put the Eagles within two points in a flash. This has been an amazing start to the third quarter. He's put it through. How many goals is that for Kennedy? I need to check. I reckon that might be four. It is four. Gee, they're taking a lot of marks. Dowhouse, one of the smallest guys on the field, has outmarked. Joel Selwood is tearing me up here. He's on track for three votes, undoubtedly, you'd think. He's put it through. The margin's back to 16, and Geelong can breathe a little easier. Wow, uncontested cats. Tom Stewart has drifted forward with absolutely no opponent. And he's going to hurt the Eagles here. Their momentum starting to count for nothing. Geelong will put this back to 22 points. Oh, he's taking the grab. Jamie Cripps. He's on the edge of his range. Oh, the three-quarter time siren has defied us. Not that that probably would have been a goal anyway, but here we go, guys. Big challenge needed in the final quarter if we're going to make this up. We did it against Richmond. Can we do it two, uh, two times in the three weeks? Probably not, but let's give it a crack. Ends up turning this ball over. Puts it on the boot. Oh, he's done well. He's spot up Kelly Tim Kelly. Kelly. He's gotten forward a little bit today. Kick one goal, one. Through. Nearly had two really good goals. Looking to he's kick put that through two. against his he's old club. He's cut the margin to 16 points. Game might be on. The ball spills to Stanley. Throwing the ball. Free kick paid. Oscar Allen fancies himself on the drop punt here. Might have just not quite got that. Oh, he has. Has he squeezed it home? He has. The margin is 11 points. These Eagles have been fighting all day. They need two more goals. All right, I'm going to go to the top here. This will cut the margin back to five points. Fuck. Looks okay There's a flower bag and a half. The kick goes out on the full from Batchi. Goes by foot. Oh, he's picked out the only eagle there. Does he have the legs on him? I don't think he does, but he's going to have a crack. Oh, it's a good effort, Liam. Oh, it's just missed. A disappointing kick. Williams with a big fist on it. Parsons gets it out of congestion. She kicks out of the congestion. She goes long. Picked oh, Jetta has put it through. <laughs> You're joking. That is ridiculous. What a crumbing goal by the baller. Thrashes it. That doesn't look good. He must be injured. No. Coming from the ground. And it could be Dale. Has he put it through? They You're kidding me. The Eagles have hit the front in the 30th minute of the game. How has this happened? <laughs> I'm actually playing fully on Legendary on the Siren. I didn't even know the Siren had gone. You are kidding me. I have absolutely no idea how I pulled that off. I was getting annihilated that whole game. That was my first full game on Legendary. And I'm actually pumped with that. I had no... I had no chance of winning that game. I've done it again, twice in three weeks. The Eagles have won in the most dramatic fashion. They've really, oh, we really came back in that second half. The inside 50s were huge in their favor. They had 70 more disposals. Oh my God, I actually did not know that Yo had the, I didn't know when the siren went, I didn't hear it. It must have blown me there. Wow, that is, I thought me playing Richmond 
would have been the best game I've played this season, but that is going to be very hard to top. Look at the do dominance there. Patrick Dane defeated 19 possessions as much as anyone's got in this game that I've been playing. The most for me was Nick Natanui with nine, who was probably my best on ground other than Josh Kennedy who had four. Oscar Allen bobbed up with three. Joel Selwood was huge. Let's look at the votes. Yeah, as you'd expect, the three, uh, the Holy Trinity there basically for, um, for the Cats got oh, all three best on ground. That is ridiculous. I'm still stunned at how we did that in such dramatic fashion. Lewis Jetta to, and then Elliot Yo twice in the final minute. I have never done anything like that before. On Legendary 2. So there we go, guys. We moved to 12-3. and three. One game clear in top spot. The Crows, who are our next opponent, have lost and have slipped from 2nd to 4th. Hawthorne move up into 2nd spot. Geelong, with that unbelievable last gasp loss, has slipped to 6th. You know, if we'd lost that game, it would have been all 4 losses. 4 or 5 points in the margin, but instead we won by 2 points. I'm still, I'm still absolutely stoked. You can see my voice. All right, guys, I gotta, I gotta go home and I gotta relax and just, you know, chill after that. I gotta go to bed or something. I'm just too, too hyped. But next week we do take on the Crows in Perth, and I can't wait to have you join us. It's gonna be a big top four clash. We'll see you then. Catch up.